Welcome back. BCCI President Jagmohan Dalmia passed away after he suffered a fatal heart attack in a Kolkata hospital on Sunday night. Mr. Dalmia's body has been taken to his house. His mortal remains will be taken to the Cricket Association of Bengal at around 11.30. Full state honours will be accorded to the cricketing administrator. Dalmia had complained of chest pain and breathing troubles on Thursday night. He was rushed to the BM Birla hospital and doctors monitored his progress. After surgery, the doctors confirmed he was stable and would soon recover. But on Sunday night, Dalmia breathed his last. He had served the BCCI for about 36 years and is widely regarded as one of the greatest cricket administrators. He became treasurer of the organization in 83 and was also instrumental in helping India host the 1987 and 1996 World Cups. He also served as ICC president in 1997. Now, tributes poured in for Dalmia, not just from the cricketing fraternity, but also from the government. Prime Minister Naren Modi tweeted, and I quote, My thoughts are with the family of Sri Jagmohan Dalmia in this hour of grief. May Sri Dalmia's soul rest in peace, unquote. And that's not all. Cricketing legend Sachin Tendulkar also paid tribute, saying he will cherish his encouragement and support over the years, and especially touched by his efforts to make Sachin's penultimate test memorable. देखिए क्रिकेट के लिए तो एक बड़ा लोकशन है। चाहे मैं बताऊँ या नहीं बताऊँ ये बात तो सच है। उन्होंने पूरा जिंदगी भर क्रिकेट के लिए संघर्ष करते रहे, क्रिकेट के लिए लड़ते रहे, क्रिकेट के लिए क्रिकेट ही उसका जिंदगी था। जाने का टाइम भी क्रिकेट का किंग माफी की उनको चल बैशी। Sudden demise of Jagmohan Dalmia ji, it is a great loss for the world cricket. In Bengal cricket as well as in the cricket world of the country and world, entire world, he carry forward the cricket into the amongst the peoples of the world. So at this junction, his demise is a loss of the entire cricket world. Let's go across live now to Kolkata, where uh, we are joined in by India today's Manogya Loival. Manogya, you are outside uh, Mr. Dalmia's residence. Uh, I believe uh, he will be taken to the Cricket Association of Bengal office where people will pay their last tribute. Well, absolutely. Cricket Association of Bengal office is located in Eden Garden. So perhaps the man who started his career, not only in the administrative life, but also in the cricket life, because we told he not only loved cricket, but he's played in his school time as well as his college days also. So the man who played cricket at some point of life, the time in life and has also made it a mark to get it where it is today. He was the person who, who not only got TV rights in the cricket world, but also ensured that it was a profitable venture. When cricket was suffering from uh, lack of financial and financial turmoil that it was going through, he was the man who guided uh, almost everyone in a perfect way, making it what it is today and of course one of the richest board of the world. So it's not only about the sitting president of BCCI, but also the former ICC president and of course the present president of CAB. Almost all the designations that he had held and at the age of 85 he was still working till uh, last uh, Wednesday. He was working, he was monitoring what was happening in CAB as well as BCCI and uh, was interacting with everyone and uh, of course that is what uh, uh, reveals on what kind of person he was, what kind of personality he was. Absolutely. Now Manogya, a lot will in fact be spoken about at this moment on what really is the succession plan in the BCCI? Because he was at the helm of affairs as far as India's cricketing body is concerned. What next? Sanket, there are two points to it. The first is on who would be heading the next is will be uh, calculated within a week or so because uh, this is also to be uh, depending on who would be next, whether it would be Shashank Manohar or Rajiv Shukla. Both of them hold the pre uh, pre vice president post. There are other people also on whether there would be a possibility of Sharad Pawar coming in again. There has been a division of lobby as far as uh, BCCI is concerned and this time it would be ascertaining on who would be next. It's not just about uh, BCCI being post being vacated, but also the CAB post being vacated from where he has been held, holding the post for more than a decade now. He did uh, resign from it in 2007, but then again was heading it. So two posts being vacated of a man who was tall enough to make everyone look dwarf in front of him. 
Okay, Manoke, okay. many thanks for joining us at this moment.